Give me your dog tag. Okay, so not having it in the Game Caviar Studio. I know it's been a couple days. It's been like four or five days since I put out a video, but let's forget about all that. Right now, you are watching me play the new Battlefield 3 DLC CQB Close Quarters Battles. This is the DLC that I've been waiting on for a long time, and I've been talking about it, and I've been uh, hyping it up as much, as much as possible. This is amazing. I did a live stream on Twitch TV. If you know of Twitch TV, it allows people to do live streams. And until my YouTube account is enabled for that, um, I'm going to be doing live streams on Twitch TV. And after it is enabled, I'm going to switch between the two. So uh, if you if you know of Twitch TV, or if you don't know about it, check it out. It's Twitch TV slash not having it. That's my channel. And I did about 20 minutes of nothing but CQB Battlefield 3. This is an awesome DLC. Remember a long time ago when I said I would like to get into Battlefield 3, but I feel as though the maps are too big. And even the squad team deathmatch maps were kind of like open wide. But this is the perfect size and it adds the perfect amount of action. And once a lot more people get into and start downloading this DLC, it's going to get even better because you're going to have more people playing it. Right now, it's just premium users are using it. I did buy in the Battlefield Premium just like I said I was going to do. Look at that floating gun right there. I don't know what that was about. But anyway, I did buy into Battlefield Premium and it's amazing. They give you uh, like amazing assignments, all new assignments, new maps. You get maps early. And uh, I saw a picture for the next DLC, that Armored Kill. Battlefield 3 will have an AC-130 in it. I saw a picture of it. And it's been circulated around the internet. It looks legit. And if that is really the case, then I w I'm just going to stop playing Modern Warfare altogether. There's no reason for me to ever play that game again. It's barely a reason for me to play it now. But after this DLC dropped, and then you have the that armored kill, and then you have another one, and Battlefield Premium people get it, what, two weeks early? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. If you have trouble... I should have said this first, but if you have trouble with this DLC, a lot of people are, then you can, you have to re-download it and reinstall it just to get it to work. That's what I had to do, and I'm trying to spread that word around Facebook on the Facebook uh, Game Caviar page, facebook.com slash Game Caviar, and I'm saying it now. I'm going to put an annotation at the beginning of this video to let people know that just so I can get it out. And I'm putting it in the description too. Uh, so that everybody knows that if you're having trouble connecting and it's crashing a PS3 and it just doesn't look right, then re-download it and then reinstall it. And everything will work fine. That's what I just got finished doing. I have this on two PS3. So I, I came in the, 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 uh, the studio and I did it on this PS3. Now I got to do it in the PS3 that I have in the bedroom. So it's going to take a little while because that one is Wi-Fi. Right here I get stuck in this corner, but it's all good. I jumped out of it. This is amazing. I like this whole DLC. I played this match and I played a match before. I'm going to get back on after I get finished with this video. And I'm just going to go ahead and get it. Now this gun right here, I think it's like an AUG something. They probably will end up uh, nerfing this gun because it is like a killing machine. And I don't think that DICE is going to let that hang I think that it'll be fine, but everybody's going to end up whining about Not everybody, but a lot of people are going to end up whining about it, just like they did with the Farmers. So it may end up getting nerfed. I don't know. I hope not, because I think it's really balanced extremely well right now. Right here, I got caught up. Luckily, a teammate was there to save my ass. But if they nerf it, I think it's going to be stupid, because the gun is actually pretty good. It's not like it's a overpowered weapon where it's like one shot, one kill, blah 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 i've used other guns that are just as good as this gun but i know online a lot of people have started complaining about well, i'm not gonna say a lot because a lot of people don't have this dlc but some people have started complaining about it hopefully it doesn't uh snowball into a big issue i don't think it will i think it'd be all right uh but yeah you get all sorts of new guns i just unlocked this gun and i'm trying to unlock some more guns of course you get the black uh, dog tag. I took somebody's earlier. I'm not ever equipping that. Nobody's ever going to take. I have I, my dog tag gets taken and I'm not worried about that. But that black dog tag is that's special. So I'm going to keep that. 
I'm never gonna wear that in a in a battle. Okay. Um, I've been playing Battlefield on Xbox. It's pretty good. It's it's really good actually. One thing I noticed about that is that the knifing works a lot better on Xbox, and I don't know whether that's a system specific thing, but it seems to work a lot better. So I'm still gonna be on Xbox, but this is on PS3 right now. This is where I have my Battlefield Premium membership, and this is when I'm gonna be using it. So check me out on Twitch TV, Twitch T, Twitch. I don't know what it's called. Just Google Twitch TV. Go to the website and look up not having it. And of course, like, comment, subscribe, spread the word. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studio, and I'm out.